Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 40 Ultra Prism Pokemon Booster Packs. Today, this is the largest opening of Ultra Prism that I have done. I have opened up a booster box of Ultra Prism recently, had very good pulls in that booster box. Of course, 40 packs is four more packs than an entire booster box. I did purchase another booster box from Troll and Toad for $89.95. And then the four packs you see here are from Walmart. I purchased those for $4.18 a piece. You can find a link to Troll and Toad's website in the description of this video. So very excited to open up these 40 packs. Ultra Prism is the 77 set in the Pokemon TCG. The set was just released this past Friday, February 2nd, 2018. This set is very good for both collectors and competitive players. Lots of valuable cards in this set, hoping to pull some in this opening. And of course, if you're short on time at the end of this video, I'll summarize all of my good pulls. So first pack here has Dawnwings Necrozma on it. Green colored code card, but you can get the Prism Star cards in the reverse hollow slots of the packs. First pack starts with a Carnivine, Murkrow, Magnemite, Snover, Glammeow, Fighting Type Energy, Palpad, Skuntank, Gardenia, which you can get in full art form, Reverse Solo of a Lopany, just an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Magearna. Not a bad card for the TCG, and I am looking forward to doing lots of Ultra Prism deck reviews on my channel. Dusk Main Necrozma pack now, a very good GX in the set, especially if you're building a metal type deck. White colored code card here. This pack starts off with a Roselia, Chimchar, Scorapi, Young Goose, Cheruby, Fighting Type Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Cherum, Gumshoes, Reverse Solo, of a Shinotic, and that is a rare, excellent pull right here. And the final card in the pack would be a Palkia GX, and that is a GX full art. So what a great start to this opening. Now, unfortunately, I have pulled that card in the past in my booster box opening, but with this set, I think I'm going to sell some of my singles so I can afford to complete the set. 173 total cards in this set. It's going to take a lot of money to complete this set. Giratina on the cover artwork of this pack. Of course, you can pull a Giratina Prism Star from this set. Six different Prism Star cards available. I actually have four of these six in my collection already. Shinx to start this pack. Dupider. Gibble. Scorapi, Lickitung, Grass-type Energy, Ancient Crystal, Spiritune, Rotom, Reverse Solo of a Chimchar, just a common, and the rare in this pack is a Wash Rotom. Lots of different Rotom cards in this set, and even though this is a 7th generation set, this set does include a lot of 4th generation Pokemon and those from the Sinnoh region. Leafeon cover artwork pack now. Glaceon GX in this set is very good. Green colored code card here. Young Goose to start this pack. Magmar. Alolan Diglett. Sneasel. Magnemite. Water type energy. Unit energy. Escape board. Honchkrow. Reverse Solo of a Bastiodon, there we go. Second rare Reverse Solo pull. And the final card would be a Wash Rotom. So two Wash Rotom and back-to-back -back packs there. Now I'm going to go through each of the four different cover artworks. I'm going to open up one all the way through and then go on to the next one. So I'll just continue opening Dawn Wings Necrozma packs now. And I did mix up all the booster packs inside of the booster box and then the individual packs, so you could have some runs here. Of course, Cynthia, the Uncommon Trainer card, is one of the best supporter cards in quite some time. Would love to pull many copies of that card. Scorapi to start this pack. Lickitung. Chimchar. Passimian. Buneary. Grass-type Energy. Mount Coronet, very good stadium for a metal type deck. Rotom, Unidentified Fossil, 
reverse hollow of a gum shoes, and that is an uncommon. And the rare here would be another Rotom, this time a Mo Rotom. Lots of green colored code cards so far. Now if I do pull a Prism Star card, it is possible to get both a Prism Star and an Ultra Rare in the same pack. Yanma to start this pack. Bronzor. Gibble. Roselia. Shimchar. Fire type energy. Shield on. Lopany. Luxio. Reverse solo of a Piplup, just a common. And the rare here would be a Roserade. The card trick for these packs would be four and then two, similar to all the other Sun and Moon series sets. Chimchar to start this pack. Sneasel. Lickitung. Carnivine. Glamiao. Lightning type energy. Turtonator. Bronzong. Volkner. Reverse solo of a Hippowdon, and that is another rare reverse solo, third of this opening. And the final card would be a Drapion, and that is a rare non holo. Now, something to note with the holo cards in this set, they are a little bit harder to see sometimes, especially on camera. I actually missed a Shaman holo in my booster box opening. Lucky enough, I did catch it in editing, so I was able to point that out. Hopefully, I won't miss a holo here. Again, Don Wings to Krozma. Another green colored code card. And the Pokemon on the artwork of the pack really doesn't have any influence on what's inside of the pack. You may get that Pokemon just because it is featured in the set, but you're not guaranteed to. Gibble to start this pack. Electabuzz. Chimchar. Pachirisu. Alolan Sandshrew. Darkness type energy. Monferno. Fire memory. Order Pad, Reverse Solo of a Fire Memory, that is an uncommon Reverse Solo. And the final card would be another Rotom, this time a Fan Rotom. Like I mentioned in my Booster Box opening, a friend of mine was actually part of a 49 Booster Box opening of Ultra Prism. He said the pull rates for this set are very good, much better than Crimson Invasion. I talked to him after my Booster Box opening. He said with all of those Booster Boxes he opened up, he did not have one with two GX Rainbow Rares like my booster box had. So pretty exciting to have such a great box. Of course, the cards I'm looking for most in this opening would be either of the two gold-colored GX Full Art Secret Rares, Solgaleo or Lunala, very tough to pull from packs. And they're both about $80 a piece right now. Yanma to start this pack. Bronzor. Gibble. Roselia. Chimchar, Fighting Type Energy, Manaphy, Cynthia, there we go, that supporter I was talking about, similar to N, but only you get to draw six cards instead of making your opponent do the same. Grottle, Reverse Hollow, of a N Mega, that is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Drampa. Now if you can see the hollow on screen there, pretty cool looking, but they are hard to identify sometimes. Just actually faced a Drampa GX deck today when I was battling on the online game, Primetime Pokemon, if you'd like to add me on there. So a pretty slow start to this opening so far. Hopefully it'll heat up soon. Dupiter to start this pack. Stunky. Turtwig. Electabuzz. Baneary. Fairy-type Energy. Luxio. Escapeboard. Honchkrow, Reverse Solo of a Palpad, that is an uncommon. And the rare in the pack would be another Roserade. So lots of duplicates so far. It looks like three more packs, including this one, with Dawnwing's Necrozma on it. Then I'll move on to the Leafeon cover artwork. Green colored code card again, but again, could get a Prism Star card out of this pack. You're usually looking at two to three per booster box. Sneasel to start the pack. Lickitung. Carnivine, Glamiao, Drifloon, Grass-type Energy, Ancient Crystal, Spiritoon, Rotom, Reverse Solo, of a Solgaleo Prism Star, very good pull right here, first Prism Star in this opening, and the final card would be another Roserade. 
believe that is the third already. That Solgaleo Prism Star, you can combine that with Dust Main Necrozma GX and build a very strong metal type deck. Second Solgaleo Prism Star I have in my collection. Another green colored code card. Shinx to start this pack. Carnivine. Murkrow. Magnemite. Snover. Metal type energy. Palpad. Luxio, Shield on, Reverse Hollow of a Shinx, just a common, and the rare here would be a Hippowdon. Was able to pull this in rare Reverse Hollow form earlier. So, final Dawn Wings to Krozma pack. Now I can open it up right on camera. Of course, I just edit out the opening part just because it makes the opening smoother, in my opinion. I never do mess with the pulls or anything like that. Four and then two would be the card trick. And this pack starts with a Gibble, Pachirisu, Yanma, Murkrow, Eevee, Lightning Type Energy, Prinplup, Oranguru, Looker Whistle, Reverse Solo of a Rotom, that is an uncommon. And the final card here would be a Tapu Lele. Rare non holo there. So now on to the Leafeon cover artwork packs. Like I mentioned, there's a Glaceon GX in this set. There's also a Leafeon GX. I've done very well with Glaceon GX in this set so far. So this pack starts with a Snover, Murkrow, Gibble, Dupiter, Stunky, Darkness Type Energy, Electric Memory, Looker, Yen Mega, Reverse Solo of a Magnemite, just a common. And the rare here would be a Glaceon GX. So just the Pokemon I was talking about, a very good ability on this card. If this card is in the active Pokemon spot, it turns off abilities of GX and EX cards. So a very good card for the competitive TCG. I'll take that any day. Have pulled the Rainbow Rare and the Full Art in the booster box that I opened up previously on my channel. So another Leafeon pack. I have eight more to go, I believe, of this design. Piplup to start this pack. I am a big fan of Water-type starters. Salandit. Yanma. Drifloon. Weasel. Fire-type Energy. Perugly. Floatzel. Missing Clover. You can get this in Secret Rare form. Reverse Solo of a Salandit, just a common. And the rare here would be a Shaman. Two different Shaman cards in this set. One holo, one rare non-holo. Here we go, another white colored code card. Lots of good full art trainer cards in this set. Nine total. Cynthia, of course, would be the one that I want most. Weasel to start this pack. Eevee. Salandit. Turtwig. Riolu. Water type energy, Cosmoum, Pokemon Fan Club, Gabite, Reverse Solo of a Snover, just a common, and the rare here would be a Lucario, and that is a rare holo. Second rare holo in this opening so far. Next pack here. Another white colored code card, so like I mentioned, could have some runs in this opening. Lickitung to start the pack. Buizel. Eevee, Salandit, Turtwig, Fairy Type Energy, Unit Energy, Cosmoum, Looker, Reverse Solo of an Alolan Executor. There we go. Another rare Reverse Solo. And the final card here would be a Shaman, and that is a rare Holo. Will not miss this Holo this time around. Was prepared for that one. That's why I always look at the code cards as well. The TCGO after the Pokemon.com URL does indicate a rare holo at the very least in that final spot. Boy, another white colored code card. Let's get something good here. Something better than a rare holo or regular GX. The pack starts with Electabuzz, Cherubi, Glammeow, Snover, Hippopotas, Darkness Type Energy, 
shield on, lopony, unit energy, reverse hollow of a magmar, just a common, and the rare here would be another shaman rare hollow. So it's almost trolling me there, a couple of shaman in a row after I missed it in my booster box opening. Three more packs left of Leafeon to go after this one. Wow, make that three in a row, I believe, for white colored code cards. And I'll flip it around. Here's what I mean by the white colored code card. So this pack starts with a Turtwig, Electabuzz, Cherubi, Glammeow, Snover, Psychic Type Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Cherum, Reverse Solo after this, Gumshoes, would be a Prinplup, none common. And the final card here would be a Mars, and that is a Full Art Trainer. So a card that I have not pulled yet from this set. One of nine Full Art Trainer cards in this set. So I'll take that any day. Second Full Art pull in this opening. And I'm always happy to pull cards that I have not pulled before. The goal is to always complete the set as quickly as possible. And to pull all of the Secret Rare and Ultra Rare cards from packs. Now the hope with that Mars Full Art or really any of the Ultra Rares is that they are from one of the four additional packs that I'm opening in this video outside of the sealed booster box. Murkrow to start this pack. Gibble. Dupiter. Stunky. Turtwig. Water type energy. Floatzel. Lily, a very good supporter card similar to Cynthia. It allows you to draw cards into your hand. Magneton, Electric Memory, lots of memory type trainer cards for us to ally. This is an uncommon, and the rare in the pack would be a Garchomp. A decent card in the TCG, one of two featured Pokemon for the theme decks with Ultra Prism, Garchomp, and then Empoleon. And I'll be reviewing both of those decks in the near future on my channel, as well as giving those decks away. Second to last Leafeon cover artwork pack now. Green colored code card. Stunky to start this pack, Young Goose, Magmar, Alolan Diglett, Sneasel, Fire Type Energy, Escape Board, Alolan Dug Trio, Unit Energy, Reverse Hollow of a Prism Star card, and just the one I was hoping for, Cyrus Prism Star, very powerful supporter card. Have not pulled this card from a pack. And then the final card would be another Rotom in a Heat Rotom. But very happy with the two Prism Star cards that I pulled so far. All I need is Giratina and then I believe I have all six already in my collection. Final Leafeon pack now. I can open up on camera. Ooh, I can see that shine there. White colored code card. Four and then two. And this pack starts with a Piplup, Salandit, Passimian, Shinx, Execute, Fairy Type Energy, Driftblim, Mars, the card I pulled in full art form earlier, Lopany, Reverse Solo of a Buizel, just a common, and the final card in the pack would be a Polkia GX. So I believe that is the second regular GX pull in this opening. Was able to pull this card in full art form earlier. So a very good way to end the Leafeon cover artwork packs. I'm going to save the Duskmane Necrozma packs until the end. Move on to Giratina. Green colored code card. Hippopotus to start this pack. Shinx. Dupiter. Gibble. Scorapy, Lightning Type Energy, Skun Tank, Gardenia, Perugly, Reverse Solo of a Pokemon Fan Club. This is an uncommon. And the rare in the pack would be another Rotom, this time a Frost Rotom. So we are halfway through this opening, a little bit more than halfway. And if you are interested in free Ultra Prism products, I did just have a giveaway on my channel for three sealed Ultra Prism booster boxes and then 10 individual booster packs. Electabuzz to start this pack. Baneri. Morlull. Magmar. Chimchar. 
fighting type energy, rotom, unidentified fossil, electric memory, reverse hollow of an Alolan dug trio, just an uncommon, and the rare here would be an Alolan sand slash. I am a big fan of a lot of the Alolan Pokemon. I like how the basic evolution forms usually can attack for no energy at all. Of course, Alolan Vulpix from, I believe, the Guardian's Rising set is very good. Beacon on that card. So another Giratina cover artwork pack. Green colored code card, but hoping for at least one more Prism Star card. And with those Prism Star cards, you only can use one of that specific Prism Star card in a deck. So for example, Cyrus Prism Star, you only can use one of. And once a Prism Star card is discarded, it goes to the Lost Zone, meaning you can no longer use that card. Magnemite to start this pack. Cheruby, Baneri, Hippopotas, Passimian, Darkness Type Energy, Shield On, Lopany, Unit Energy, Reverse Hollow of a Passimian, just a common, and the rare here would be an Aboma Snow. Here we go, a white colored code card. I have pulled out four rare holo cards so far. I believe I pulled out seven in my booster box. Krogunk to start this pack. Eevee. Alolan Vulpix. Alolan Diglett. Shinx. Water type energy. Pokemon Fan Club. Kranidos. Orangaroo. Reverse holo of a Mars, which is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a Weavile, and that is a rare hollow. Not a bad card for the TCG. Set that aside. Almost missed that Weavile. Not much of a shine on the holofoil pattern. Next pack here. Riolu to start this pack. Gibble. Krogunk. Turtwig. Roselia. Darkness type energy. Unit energy. Rotom, Drifblim, Reverse Solo of a Gibble, that is a common, and the rare here would be an Empoleon. Here is the second featured Pokemon with the theme decks, Empoleon and then Garchomp, like I mentioned. Only three more packs left to go of the Giratina cover artwork. I'm saving the Duskmane Necrozma until the end, hoping to pull at least one GX of Duskmane Necrozma in this opening. Turtwig to start this pack. Electabuzz. Baneri, Morlo, Magmar, Grass Type Energy, Mars, Electric Memory, Bronzong, Reverse Solo of an Execute, just a common, and the rare here would be a Leafeon, and that is a GX Full Art. So a great pull here. I have not pulled this card from a pack previously. Set that aside. That makes two GX full art pulls in this opening, three total full art cards. I am hoping to pull at least one secret rare between a secret rare trainer or energy and then the GX rainbow rare. Of course, I would love to pull the gold colored secret rares out. Snover to start this pack. Hippopotas. Shinx. Dupiter. Gibble. Lightning type energy. Palpad. Spiritomb, Gumshoes, Reverse Hollow of an Alolan Sand Slash. It's been a while since I pulled out a rare Reverse Hollow like this. And the final card, there we go, a Duskmane Necrozma GX. A very powerful card for a metal type deck. As you can see here, it does do 220 damage. And you can use Magnazone or Solgaleo, Prism Star from this set, to accelerate metal energy onto this card. So a very good card. I definitely will have a deck review, including that card, on my channel. Second to last Giratina pack now. Green colored code card. Would love to pull another Prism Star card here. Cheruby to start this pack. Baneri. Hippopotas. Passimian. Shinx. Psychic type energy. Order pad. Monferno. Unidentified Fossil, Reverse Hollow of a Riolu, just a common, and the rare here would be a Garchomp. Dragon-type Pokemon there. Final Giratina cover artwork pack now. I can open it up on camera. 
Hopefully I don't ruin the surprise if it is a GX or anything in there. It is a green colored code card, but potentially a prism star card. Four and then two. And this pack starts with a Magnemite, Buizel, another Magnemite, Krogunk, Bronzor, Grass type Energy, Magneton, Spiritomb, Alolan Dug Trio, Reverse Solo of a Glammeow, just a common, and the rare would be a Salazzle. So on to the Dusk Main Necrozma packs now. So here's a look at the Dusk Main Necrozma cover artwork. Beautiful looking Pokemon. Reminds me of Solgaleo, actually. So out of the remaining 10 packs, I would love to pull some type of secret rare. Glammeow to start this pack. Drifloon. Morlo. Cosmog. Execute. Water type energy. Looker. Yan Mega. Palpad. Reverse Sala of a Magnemite, which is a common. And the final card would be an Alolan Executor, a card that I have pulled in Reverse Sala form. Next pack here, and I'm hoping to get, like I mentioned, either a Secret Rare or an Ultra Rare, at least one more. White colored code card, so it could happen here. Scorapi to start this pack. Young Goose. Cherubi. Piplup. Snover. Psychic type energy. Ancient Crystal, Cherum, Gumshoes, Reverse Solo of a Tapu Lele. There we go, another rare Reverse Solo. And the final card here would be a Rampardos, and that is a rare Hollow. So I do believe that is six rare Hollow and then six Ultra Rares in this opening so far. And since this is a larger opening than just a single booster box, hoping, like I mentioned, in those four packs, one of those four packs has something good. If not, I'll be opening plenty more Ultra Prism products in the near future on my channel. Alolan Vulpix to start this pack. Bronzor. Dupiter. Piplup. Scorpi. Metal Type Energy. Missing Clover. Manaphy. Lily, Reverse Solo of a Stunky, just a common, and the rare here would be an Araquanid. Five packs left to go after this one. And I'll definitely be opening up both Elite Trainer boxes from this set, as well as all four blister packs, the two one-pack blisters and then the two three-pack blisters. And I may do a 50 booster pack opening of Ultra Prism. I've been doing larger openings, like 40 and 50 booster pack openings for all the newest Sun and Moon series sets. Alolan Vulpix to start this pack. Stunky. Young Goose. Roselia. Cosmog. Fairy type energy. Luxio. Escape Board. Mount Coronet, a very good stadium card. Reverse Sala of a Cynthia, there we go. Uncommon Reverse Sala, but a very good card in this set. And the final card would be another Rotom in a Mo Rotom. Green colored code card again. Drift Blim to start this pack. Alolan Sandshrew. Hippopotas. Riolu. Alolan Diglett. Fairy type energy. Gabite. Looker Whistle. Prinplup. Reverse Solo of an Oranguru. That is an uncommon. And a rare is a type null. So Valai GX in this set, a reprint from the Crimson Invasion set. That is only available as a regular GX. Another green colored code card, but like I said, I've only pulled out two Prism Star. Most booster boxes have three. So this pack starts with a Pachirisu, Scorapi, Young Goose, Cherubi, Piplup, Metal Type Energy, Luxio, Looker, and I can see that Prism Star card back there. That's exciting. Shield on. There we go. Lunala Prism Star. So the third Prism Star card in this opening, right on average. Second Lunala that I have in my collection. And the final card would be an Alolan Sand Slash. I do really like those black borders on the Prism Star cards. They really make the cards stand out. 
Third to last pack in this 40 booster pack opening. White colored code card here, so definitely hoping for something more than a rare hollow. Carnivine to start this pack. Sneasel. Eevee. Magmar. Morlow. Fairy type energy. Honchcrow. Lopany. Turtonator. Reverse hollow of a looker. That is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a Magmortar, and that is a rare hollow. Really hard to see on camera there. Really have to tilt it. There you go. You can see that palafoil pattern just a little bit. Set that aside. Two packs left to go here. It is not looking good for getting another ultra rare. White colored code card here though. Bronzor to start the pack. Dupiter. Piplup. Scorpy. Stunky. Fighting type energy. Magneton, Oranguru, Drifblim, Reverse Solo of a Yanma, just a common, and the final card would be a Heatran, and that is a Rare Hollow. So I'll set that aside. Hopefully I have not missed any Rare Hollows in this opening. Final pack here, and then I'll summarize the pulls in this 40 booster pack opening. I'll just open it up right on camera there. It is a green colored code card. Four and then two. Final pack here starts with a Drifloon, Morlow, Cosmog, Execute, Lickitung, Psychic Type Energy, Fire Memory, Grottle, Perugly, Reverse Solo of a Rampardos. Good way to end this opening. Rare Reverse Solo. And the final card would be an Electivire. So I can summarize my pulls now. So out of the 40 packs, I was able to pull out six rare Reverse Solo in Rampardos, Alolan Sandslash, Alolan Executor, Hippowodon, Bastiodon, and then Shinotic. I was able to pull out eight rare hollows, so above average pulls wise with the rare hollows, Heatran, Magmortar, Rampardos, Weavile, Two Shaman, Lucario, and then a Drampa. I do like the Hollowfoil pattern on these cards, but they are hard to pick out sometimes. I was able to pull out three Prism Star cards, so right on average with these types of cards. Sogaleo, very happy to have a second in my collection. Cyrus, the first one of this card I have in my collection. And then Lunala. As far as Ultra Rares go, I was able to pull out three regular GX in Duskmane Necrozma, Glaceon, and then Palkia. Very happy to have pulled the first two there. I was able to pull out three full art cards total. Two GX full art in Leafeon and Palkia, and then one full art trainer in Mars. So to summarize this entire 40 booster pack opening, I was able to pull out six rare reverse solo, eight rare holo, three prism star, three regular GX, two GX full art, and one full art trainer for a combined total of 14 holos and ultra rares out of these 40 booster packs. Unfortunately, was not able to pull a secret rare out of this opening. I actually pulled two in the booster box that I opened of this set. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.